Hi everyone, it's Miss Kate here. And Miss Hazel. Hey, today we're doing something that I love. It's a big messy project. Although I am wearing an apron that my niece Lucy made for me. Um, only because I've already spilled stuff all over this dress today and I'm trying not to do any more of it. So, um, today we're gonna make a paper mache fish. We are using some old recycled materials that we have. So someone gave us a whole bunch of these dishes. They're made out of bamboo, I think. Um, and then we're using a cereal box and some tape. And then we're gonna use the paper mache. So to start this, we're going to, I cut the pieces out already, but this will be the tail of the fish. And I would um, bend it a little bit and tape it right in there, right into the back of the body here on one side. So you can see I'm doing that and then I'll kind of fold it back out again. So when I tape the other side, it'll stay there. And then um, for the top tail, sort of an interesting, uh, top fin, it's kind of a weird shape I did, but oh, here we'll do this one. I'll also do the same thing where I fold just a little bit so it can go under the lip there and it'll stay in. Use a little piece of tape, tape that in, and now it's starting to look like a fish. Yes. Then I will tape the two together, and I'll show you one that's already done. I won't do this whole thing. We'll tape the two together and then add what I'm calling feet, but they're the fins on the bottom, so it will stand like this one. So here's one I already put together. It's got the two fins on the bottom, one on the top. It's got its tail. It has a fair amount of masking tape because I want to make sure it all stayed together. Now, if you don't have these things, and most people don't, you could use anything in your house. If you have some paper plates in your house, you could use those. I, last night, made a birthday cake for one of my children, and um, I needed something that came in these, in containers that had these lids, so I saved them just for this. And again, just cut this out of the cereal box, and I can tape it right inside the lid. Put the oh, um, up on top. Cake. I know, it works. And then I can just tape these uh, two together and fish. add the bottom so it can stand. And then we've got another fish. That was kind of fun. So the next thing we did was add, now we're, we love these um, plaster strips, mostly because we have them and they're pretty easy to use. But you can use other forms. You'll see on another video that we show you two other ways to use household things to make your paper mache. But we're using um, the plaster strips. So once, and then once it's dry, after 24 hours, then you can go ahead and paint your fish. I used acrylic on my, my fish because I like the way it finishes. Oh, this guy doesn't want to stand anymore. I got to get him to stand in a good spot so you can see he does stand. Um, you could use tempera, you could use acrylic. I just like acrylic, so that's what I tend to use mostly, but you could use anything you want. So when you're using these strips, and you may have seen them, uh, used them before, I set up, I should run next so you can see. I set up my area so that I have, whoops, I did that backwards. I have my strips, and then my water, and then my fish, so that I'm not getting their strips wet too early. So here's a strip, I'm just gonna put it in the water, pull it out through my fingers like this to try and get most of the water off of it. And then I will start covering my fish. And when you're working with the plaster strips, you wanna make sure you're rubbing this. You can see there are all these holes. When I rub it, I mix up all that plaster so that the holes are covered and that makes this con so that it's really strong when we're done. Miss Kate, how yes. many layers of oh, plaster just are you gonna put on there? I was just about to say that. On this one, I'm gonna put two layers on. And that is just to make sure it's super strong because this stuff is not so strong. This stuff, the um, bamboo. bamboo is not very strong, but I want the fish to be strong enough so that you can put it up on a shelf in your house and it can just stay there and look really interesting and pretty. So I will keep working on this until the whole thing is covered and it looks like and this you covered one. the tail too. I did the end. tail. Yeah. I will tell you that I did the whole thing except for this part in the middle. I let it mostly dry. It wasn't completely dry, I let it mostly dry. And then I came back and I did this part because I need it to stand up 
this is the surface I'm using is this you could use make sure you cover your table um, but I wanted to be able to stand but I didn't want it to get stuck to anything so I came back and I did this bottom part probably like an hour or two after I started and another thing to remember always is when you're using plaster strips or even glue or the flour mix make sure you have some sort of a wash basin I was gonna wear gloves but guess what I forgot I was so excited to show this to you I forgot to put gloves on I only put on one piece but I've already got this on you don't want to get it in your um, in your drinks it wrecks your drain so make sure that you don't do what I'm doing right now make sure you have an, a separate water basin where you're cleaning your hands and you um, then can go to your sink and use soap and water okay everyone that is making a paper mache fish be sure to see the other video about other ways to do paper mache and if you're enjoying this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel or follow us on Instagram at Alameda Arts Fun. All right, All right. Bye. bye everyone. See you, See you next time. time.